So 3.219 um, is the library at the university reported that journal prices had increased by 150% over a period of 10 years. The report concluded that this represented a price increase of 15% each year. If journal prices had indeed increased by 15% each year, what percentage increase would that give over 10 years? Okay. So, um, so we have to figure out what does this represent? A 15% increase per year for 10 years, okay? So what, so what would that look like? If something increased 15% each year for 10 years, what would the overall increase look like, right? Now, I don't know, I, I just feel like, I mean, we could do it some theoretical way, but can't we just pick a number and make that number increase by this amount and see what we get and then figure out the overall percentage increase? You know what I mean? Like, you guys can all pick a number, any number you like. Pick your favorite number, it doesn't matter, you know? But library costs, journal prices, so price of a journal. So give me a price of a journal. $9. $9, okay. So let's say the journal costs nine dollars uh, initially, right? <clears throat> and we're going to figure out that the inc it's going to increase by fifteen percent each year for ten years. So you know, and I'm just doing a table to make the you don't have to do a table. I'm just trying to make things make sense. But initially, it costs nothing. It costs nine dollars, right? After the first year. It's going to be 9 plus 15 percent of 9. Are we clear on that? Yes. Yeah. Right. So, and, and that, by the way, you know, 15 percent is, you know, so that's 9 plus 0 0.01, or sorry, 0 0.015 times 9, right? Uh, clear, 0 0.15 times 9, which is $1.35. So it's 9 plus $1.35 or $10.35. Are we all clear on that? Jessica, do you understand that part? Yeah. So we, we made this number up because we want to figure out what it looks like when something increases by 15% each year for 10 years, right? So the yeah. journal, so we made up this number nine. It's not given, we have to make it up because we want, it, we want to just play with the numbers and problem solve, right? Right. So that's what's going on, okay. So after the first year, 10.35, now look, you could do this, I want everyone to write this out. 9 times 1.15 will also get it. 9 times 1 point, right, 9 times 1.15. That just gives you 10.35 right off the bat, doesn't it? Right? So that's after one year. So after two years, can't we do this? 9 times um, 1.15 squared. Jessica, does that make sense or not? Or yes. we get we get another fifteen percent. That so 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 that's kind of like going, you know, ten thirty-five plus fifteen percent again of ten thirty-five. Right? It'll give you the same thing. Ten thirty-five plus zero point one five times ten thirty-five. Um so if you guys calculate it, it'll be the exact same thing. 1035 plus 0 0.15 times 1035, um, 1190, right? Or even better, just 9 times 1.15 to the power of 2. So in a calculator, 9 times 1.15 to the power of 2, right? Gives us $11.90, right? So that's what it would be two years later if it's increasing 15% per year. You clear on that? So, so the same formula for, we're looking at uh, 10 years later, aren't we? Because it's, it's going to increase 15% each year for 10 years. So what, what, what would the price be after 10 years? Um, 36.41. Right. 
So this time, if it's 10 years later, it's 9 times 1.15 to the power of 10, right? So back to the question. The question says, um, if journal prices had indeed increased by 15% each year, what percentage increase would that give over 10 years? So what is the percentage increase if the price starts at $9 and then 10 years later it becomes $36.41? What is that percentage increase? So, write, everyone write this down. Percent change equals, um, or just, just, just write this down, that it's the change, or the increase or the decrease over the original. That's how you figure out the percentage, uh, the percentage increase. So, a percentage increase or decrease is like, it's just the change over the original. What did the price change by? and then put it over the original, right? So the original price was $9, and to get the change or the increase in price, we just subtract 9, right? Oh, oh okay. So let's change over the original. <laughs> so it, the, the price has increased by $27.41, right? Because it used to be 9, then it became 36.41, so that increase is 27.41. So you put the increase over the original. And what's, so doesn't that, does, does that give us 3.05? Yes. And what's that as a percentage? 305%. Yep, 305%. It doesn't matter what number you pick, but the percentage change is going to be the same. I wasn't subtracting. All right. That's what I did wrong. Yeah, it's always that when you've got a big change, a big increase or a big decrease, people forget to, I forget to subtract as well. Everyone forgets, it's all right. Yeah, like the other thing about that problem is, is they, somebody claimed that that's the same as a 150% increase. But if you get 150% of $9, you don't get 36.41. These things are different. 150% of that is simply 1.5 times 9, which is, um, if you work that out, it's uh, $13.50, okay? So this is what a 150% increase looks like, okay? That's what 150% increase looks like, but this, 36.41, that's a 15% increase each year for 10 years, and those are different things, aren't they? They're completely different numbers. 3641 for a journal or a 1350, right? Totally different, right? That make sense?